<laughs> Gaffer, it was a narrow defeat to the Championship opposition today, and I think your side acquitted and cut himself fairly well towards the end. Yep, no, towards the end, I think, from the very start. Um, we was unlucky with a penalty miss. We had chance to go 1-0 up. Then, you know, we've... We've, we've decided to press a team who are championship level um, for, t for two reasons, because that's what we're going to do next year. And we made three or four chances. Pratt should score with a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but then the only occasion that we did get picked off, which we knew was going to happen, because we, but we wanted to do that one to get our reactions right and get the sprint distance in. Um, you know, their quality showed, the first ball in the box um, they scored with. But no, our players are excellent tonight. I think in terms of the way that, that we moved the ball about, we was... I think we was probably better than them, the way that we moved the ball about. I think we had more possession throughout the game, but the difference with them is when they put the ball in the box in the final third, they've, they've got quality. My only disappointment would be um, are a few things that we need to work on. It's not disappointment because of where we are. We know this is our second game and we know where we, where we are. So we need to shift across the pitch better. We need to close the distances better, something that they're very, very good at. Um, and then at times in the second half, we just played in front of them too much. When we can get, we can stretch them, and we can get runners in behind. But I think all in all, considering the hard days training, the amount of injuries that we've got um, to take a championship team, and I, I think they'd be pleased with their test as well, with the test that we give them. So really pleased with everyone. I thought everybody contributed in a really good performance. You alluded to it there, but there's a few faces missing. Can you give us any update on like Harry Smith? No one joining. No, um, well, we, we've had scans which we're not happy with over here. So we'll, we. We don't want to fear the worst. What we want to do is just get another scan when we get back home and then we'll reassess. Paul Smythe should be one week. Um, Jordan Brown should be training potentially tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. Um, Dan Hat will play some part against uh, a Peterborough. Um, Craig Clay's chomping it a bit, but he's not he's not quite ready. We just need to get um, more opinion on, on Drinan and then Harry Smith. And I think it's time to be shown we're playing. We know front players really can do a job up there. Um, but we, we like Ruel coming in off the sides. Um, I think he gets more possession, he gets in better areas. I think he feels more comfortable when he is rolling in off that left flank. So, um, all in all, a really good uh, performance, but obviously we are missing a few as well. Finally, then, how's the Portugal trip been so far? Well, you've been with it, so what do you think? You've been with us. You've had a better time than us. We haven't left the hotel yet. You've had a few drinks. We've clocked you, don't worry. We've got the cameras at reception, seeing you sneaking in at late, late hours. Now the players have been really professional. Um, we'll go to for a, for a group meal and a few drinks now. Back on the way back, we'll stop off at Villa Moura, so they deserved it. Um, they've been patient the next few days. Obviously, it's difficult when you're, you're in the same hotel, but I have to say we've got a really good group who get on really well. Um, I know you've put some content out to the supporters, which is good, but there's so much more than that. It's a really good group who, who you know, respect each other and, and push each other on, but are also good friends as well.